Soft skills training is considered important for employees to be successful at work, and there is a growing interest in the market for using immersive virtual reality with head-mounted displays for soft skills learning and training in organizations. Soft skills are a set of non-technical and non-job specific skills that are closely connected with personal attributes and attitudes like confidence, discipline, self-management and social abilities like communication and emotional intelligence. Several companies are offering virtual learning and training for soft skills development with immersive virtual reality, for example, Tailspin, virtual speech and equal reality. A recent report by PVC shows that using IVR with head-mounted displays to train employees to develop their soft skills is more effective compared to traditional training methods. The report is not peer-reviewed and there are few references to research literature. Even though there is a growing interest in using this emerging learning technology for soft skills training, there seems to be a lack of research literature about the use of this technology for soft skills training of employees in organizations. Hence, the purpose of this paper is to contribute to an overview of research within this field by investigating the research question. What is known from the research literature about the use of immersive virtual soft skills learning and training of employees with head-mounted displays in organizations? The term immersive virtual reality is in this scoping review based on the definition of immersion as being an objective property of a system that describes the experience of using immersive technology that exchanges sensory input from reality with digital input. The focus is therefore limited to the use of immersive technology by focusing on the use of VR with head mounted displays, for example, the Oculus Quest. The use of VR with head-mounted displays for learning and training is often rooted in learning theories like constructivism that emphasizes the important, importance of learners being active and engaged and situated learning where the re relationship uh, between the learners and the social situation in which the learning occurs is of major importance. VR can support experiential learning processes and the theory of experiential learning has had a major influence on the design and conduct of educational programs in management training. With VR, users can closely recognize virtual experiences as direct experiences, which enhances the learning effect. A scoping review was selected as the method, considering that the field of uh, immersive virtual soft skills learning and training has not been extensively reviewed. And because it is a complex topic and it was uncertain what other more specific questions could be asked and addressed through a systematic review. This scoping review was conducted based on the framework recommended by Arxi and O'Malley following the five stages, identifying the research question, identifying the relevant studies, study selection, charting data, and collating, summarizing, and reporting the results. Concept-based, participant-based, and context-based inclusion criteria were identified to assist, assess if the papers were eligible for inclusion. The three inclusion criteria in the scoping review were immersive virtual reality with head-mounted displays, soft skills, and learning and training of employees in organizations. A total of seven keyword searches were conducted with three different search engines. The keyword searches resulted in few, in, in few eligible results. Therefore, relevant literature was also identified through a snowballing technique. The various mechanisms for searching generated in total 192 results, which were screened. 39 papers were read in full to assess if they were eligible for inclusion. Ultimately, seven papers were included in the review. The seven papers included four papers with testing and data collection, two, two reviews and one conceptual paper. Seven different topics were presented and 26 different keywords are written in the papers. Virtual reality, training and public speaking are the only keywords mentioned in several of the papers. The keyword virtual reality is mentioned in six of them, training in three of them, and public speaking in two of the papers. 
The main contribution of this paper is an overview of the research literature about using immersive virtual reality with a head-mounted display for soft skills training of employees and organizations. The search process itself indicates that there is a lack of research literature within this field. There is a lack of empirical evidence and a need for evidence-based advice for best practices for IVR training in organizations. Evidence-based guidelines are important to support and enable effective implementation and use of immersive virtual soft skills learning and training of employees. Using immersive virtual reality for soft skills learning and training in organizations is a relatively new and emerging field. Hopefully, the results of this study can contribute to shed light on the need for more research literature and empirical research within this field. Thank you for watching my video presentation. If you have any feedback or would like to discuss any aspect of my work further, please contact me.